I'd like to talk to you today is about centerless grinding, the advantages, the disadvantages, and so on. What exactly is a center? Is it a feature? Is it imaginary? Reference only? Two to one dimensional relationship? Is it the perimeter? Is the feature? The perimeter does the work. The one to one dimensional relationship is not chucked or held between centers or out of a collet. Without referencing the center of a part, all features are created relative to each other, not back and forth between an imaginary center. Self-locating, no indicating. What you see here is a concept of centerless grinding. Right here you have your grinding wheel, your workpiece, and your regulating roller. The regulating roller is what derives all the accuracy for your part. It's in a fixed location, and you have your work blade which sets the height of your part. The part feeds through between the two wheels, which slowly grinds it down to your set diameter. The grinding wheels can be different grits, widths, and so on. So it's not chucked or held between centers, which makes it much more accurate relative to your high accuracy of your regulating roller. There's zero deflection, and you have superior roundness to all other forms of cylindrical grinding. Several applications that are used in centerless grinding, which include uh, prepping your blanks, doing uh, carbide rods, steel rods, uh, dowels, showing up hardened parts. Some of the centerless grinding setups that you'll see very commonly are through feed, which is for through feeding diameters down to a set size. Also, in feed grinding, which is for headed blanks, just core pins, and so on, as well as crush grinding forms into parts. There's a little more involved as far as dressing your wheels to the according shape you would like. Here we have an example of through feed and in feed grinding. You can see here as the operator places the part between your grinding wheel and your regulating roller, which then pulls it through, which grinds as it moves through the, the machine. An in feed grinding is very similar, except that the operator actually sets the part right in between the wheels and then takes it out once it's ground to the set diameter. Now crush grinding is the one I said earlier, it's a little more involved. As you see here, you have a form dressed into your wheel. That form will then plunge into your workpiece. This is really good for high production because of the cost of your wheel. Depending on the diameter, it can be very costly, especially when you get over 20 inches in wheels. There's an example of a few different centerless wheels which can be very costly, especially depending on what kind of bond you use. Diamond and CBN wheels are often the most expensive, which you see here and here, as well as the regulating rollers here. Be very costly, especially depending on the width, the size, the grit, and so on. And also, additional time is required if a shape needs to be dressed into the wheel. It can be very time consuming and is often set up for very high production. Some of the advantages are loading the part without indicating. If anyone's ever loaded a part into a chuck and had to indicate it in, they know what I'm talking about. It'll be very frustrating and time consuming. You also get precision diameters and concentricities very easily. The parts are self-locating, so you can put the part in and out as you see fit, as needed. Zero deflection, which is a, a great advantage, one of my favorites personally. You can also grind and regrind without run out. And you can put your part in, bring it close into size, check it, put it back in, it's the exact same location. As opposed to a chuck or a collet, you wouldn't dare take it out to check it. Now some of the disadvantages that it's geared toward very high volume. If you only have a few parts to run, it just doesn't make sense to centerless grind. Expensive grinding wheels. Uh, right here we have a, a grit wheel. You can see it's probably about a 20 to 30 inch diameter. You know, there's some good width to it. It's going to be a pretty expensive wheel, even though it is grit. Now that wheel, a diamond wheel, will be much more expensive. It's also hand loaded, as you can see here. You have one operator loading the part in the front of the machine, and another taking the part out after it's been ground. It makes for poor usability, and your wheel wear and blank size variations make constant monitoring and adjustments necessary. Now, some of the higher end models do have uh, auto gauging in line with the centerless grinder but it also can be very costly. There isn't an alternative for today's centerless grinders. What you see here is a universal centerless profile grinder in the top left corner. 
This is ideal for machine manufacturing needs. It allows for diversity in a range of parts and quick changeover. Simply, the parts being held between the work blade and a bearing on top of a regulating roller and the grinding wheel then comes down and can do multiple forms as opposed to only one. Centerless profile grinders offer multiple setups which are easy to change from one to another. As you see here, it's a plunge grind setup using a front stop to perform your, your two stops. There's also some examples of plunge grinding here and here. Notice the, the form shape on the wheel forming the, the ball on the part. There's also peel grinding, in-feed grinding, and through-feed grinding, which is typically manual set up on, on these particular applications. Some of those profile grinders are designed for quick adjustments, so it's great for your smaller production runs and when you're switching from jobs to jobs. They're very quick, very easy to set up. The compact size makes it very easy to work on. Most setups take less than five minutes. That's uh, through-feed grinding, in-feed grinding, plunge grinding. Any of those are going to be less than five minutes, and it's easily changed from diameter to diameter. For example, if I go from an eighth inch diameter up to a one inch diameter, it's still going to be less than five minutes. So it's a very quick, easy change over time. There's identical hardware throughout, which also makes the, the setups very quick. And here I'm going to show you a few different photos of different parts. Here, you know, there's a, a carbide rod with an angle, a couple radii, and then more geometry on the end. There's a, you can grind shanks, the forms of the tools. Here's a close-up of the tool I just explained to you here. And note the setup. You have your work blade, which the part rests against. You have your bearing arm holding the, the part in place. And your grinding wheel, which will come in and do your profile. Also here, parts rolling on the shank. The grinding wheel will finish this profile here. Very quick, easy setups. <coughs> Very very advantageous to switch from one to the other also. Now on this slide, you'll see that there's a three millimeter part, 20 millimeters long, down to 0 0.08 millimeters. That is very difficult to achieve. Well, with a centerless profile grinder, it was done in a minute, 30 seconds, with perfect concentricity and accuracy. Also, several step tools can be achieved. Here's a one out of carbide several diameters. And this one here, as you see, is done in a minute and 10 seconds. Th these were both done with uh, utilization of peel grinding, which is a very accurate, fast way to grind on your smaller diameters. Also, a big advantage of using today's CNC centerless profile grinder is that you have very easy to use software that anyone can come up to and, and learn easily. It's Windows pick and place, use your icons, set them in the the form you want to make your part, you simply insert your values, and there's also a simulation which shows you your wheel path, so you know if you're going to crash or not, as well as know how your, the form of your part is going to come out. Also, for the more advanced users, there's a G-code edit screen, which is also nice so if you need to back up your programs on a universal platform for your higher end customers. But no matter the skill level, if you're more into G-code or you're just learning, there's a software for you. CNC Center's profile grinding has lower material costs, a very simple fixturing, which as we said before, is very easy to change over. The smaller wheels, which often range around six to eight inches, are much less money and they're much quicker to change over. So if you do have special jobs where you need a certain wheel, you don't have to eat up a, a 30 inch wheel, 20 inch wheel, which can be very, very costly. Another great advantage is that we can use a 1A1 wheel and grind multiple profiles, forms, radii, tapers, all at once. And there's also, of course, in-process wheel dressing, which makes it very convenient for higher production. Speaking of high production, here we have several TrueTech model machines in a row running several different types of tools. The quick changeovers and ease of programming make the machine ideal for low production. Companies that are grinding specials, you know, five parts here, six parts there, ten here, very ideal for those situations. However, machine stability and accuracy also make it great for high production, which is why there's also an automated TrueTech machine for your needs. Which brings me to centerless automation. Automated blank preparation. This machine here will automatically load parts 
from a 90 thousandths diameter up to one inch diameter. It's high production, unmanned, complete turnkey solution for your grinding needs. As I showed you the software before, programs are also going to be written in minutes here. The program being a very simple user interface that ties into the CNC software can also be set up and running within 10 to 15 minutes. An intuitive self-training program actually walks the operator through step by step telling what to do, when to do it, almost making this foolproof. And then when you're running higher production, it's very critical to have auto wheel dressing so you can literally run lights out. There's also length probing and compensation and acoustic gauging which help with the high production lights out manufacturing. Both of these components are critical when you're holding tight tolerance. Some components are even held within plus or minus two micron lights out production seven days a week with this system you see here. Also has mist collection, fire suppression, and several other advantages that help the machine run nonstop. Simply taking the part from the one pallet, putting it in the unit to grind your part, and then putting it in the finished pallet. It's very simple. And here we have the diameter ranges again, 2.3 millimeters to 25 millimeters. So a pretty broad range for one machine. There's 20 seconds between grinding, and all your profiles can be done with a 1A1 wheel, as well as any form wheels that you see fit for your application. So with centerless automation, it really helps you to produce a wide range of tooling on one machine. Carbide, steel, exotic alloys, plastics, ceramics, glass materials, you name it. As long as it's round and you have the right wheel, it can be produced on this machine. So it's really designed for today's manufacturing and grinding facilities, whether that be quick changeovers, low production, or your standard manufacturing which is doing very high production. Universal Center's Profile Grinder has ultra precision results, very fast and easy setups, lower wheel cost, and quick change over times, and there's multiple parts and applications. Here we have the TrueTech Revolution, a revolutionary design new from TrueTech. This is our three axis centerless profile grinder. It's very universal. You can regrind with zero run out, the ergonomic design. When I open this door here, the unit actually comes out to the operator so he can easily access everything he needs to get to for quick and easy setups. Also for load and unload manually, very easy. So what we mean here by less reach, a very ergonomic design, it's energy efficient, only draws about two amps normal oper operating speed, is a swinging pendant which makes it convenient for the operator. Heavy duty base weighing well over 5,000 pounds allows us to have aggressive plunge rates and superior finishes. They use high precision ball screws and servo motors. We're able to plunge more aggressively with better finishes as well as our coolant system allowing us to push out a lot more coolant keeping our, our wheels clean. And here's the unit on the, the centerless unit on the Revolution. It allows ultra precision accuracy guaranteed 30 millionths roundness, straightness and concentricity. It's fully enclosed for the the extra coolant we push through is in process dressing so you can CNC dress your wheels and it has precision ball screws as I mentioned earlier. It has a programmable spindle RPM so you can change your, easily change your wheel for different uh, finishes, different grids, uh, different materials. Touchscreen pendant makes it very easy to use, set up your program. And it's, uh, like it says here, excellent sight, sight lines, beautiful machine, optimized ergonomics, really easy for the operator. Fully functional all the way around the machine. Everything's quick disconnect, so there's quick plug and play. Should anything go bad and you need service, it's very simple, easy to do. But with the TrueTech Revolution, as you see these parts here, we can grind all these using a 1A1 wheel. All your angles, radii, tapers, the one wheel, one setup, one cycle. Thank you very much.